Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while, but I thought I'd update you guys with another video. And today's video is about taking care of an avocado tree indoors. Um, as you can see, this is mine right here. So that's what we're going to discuss today. Uh, before we get into that, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you, and make sure to like the video if you like it. Um, but yeah, so first thing we're going to talk about is soil and pot needs for the avocado tree. So I started the avocado tree out in this little pot here. Um, so it's about five inches by six inches maybe. Um, just this little blue pot. Um, worked out fine, it was growing just fine. Um, before you plant your avocado seed in the soil, um, the method I used was just sitting it in water and letting the roots grow and let the stock grow. Um, and what I did is just lay it left it in the water for months until it was really growing good and I was washing the leaves and as the leaves got a little bit more yellow and looked like it was getting a little bit more weak, um, that's kind of the signs that it's really craving more nutrients and essentially wants to be planted in the ground. So that's when I planted it into this pot. Um, with soil, what I did was I just used potting soil that we had on hand. Um, now I'm sure if you have compost, that's probably gonna be a lot better honestly. And in fact, I recommend using compost as and have a lot more nutrients for the tree, but I use what I had on hand and it worked just fine. Again, it grew in this pot for probably four or five months, probably. And it will, then I started noticing roots growing out of the bottom. So then I figured I needed to upgrade it to this pot, which is a little bit bigger. It's probably a foot by a foot or so on this pot. Um, and that's when it really started growing. Um, but yeah, it was pretty easy growing it in those pots. Next thing we're gonna talk about is watering needs. Now, you can go to different YouTube videos and everyone will say something different, and oh, this amount of water, this many of days. Honestly, what I do is just kind of wash the tree and give it whatever it needs by the looks of it. So, I just look at the leaves. As the leaves get more droopy, you'll notice all the leaves will start, kind of just start drooping down. Um, that's when it needs water, obviously. Um, you don't want it to let you don't want to let it get to where all the leaves are totally completely drooping That's a little bit more extreme, but you want to just kind of watch your tree Watch the leaves droop down a little bit and that's when you're gonna need to water it So with this tree I've been watering it about once a week and I just kind of soak the, the whole pot and let water run out just a little bit not too much but just a little bit and It's been doing just fine. So I think the key is with watering avocados is just Make sure you're paying attention to your tree. Don't overwater them, but just kind of watch how much uh, how much your leaves move and go down. And as they go down, that's when you need to water them. The next thing we're going to talk about is pruning needs. Now, you may be looking at my tree and wondering if I've even pruned it. Uh, I have. It may not look like it, but I have. Um, so I've actually pruned it. The first prune that I did was right here. Um, there's actually a, it grew two tops, but only one of them kept on going, became the leader. This little one just kind of stunted and hasn't really grown at all. The next place I cut it at was right here. And I'll give you guys a better picture of this. I'll get an up close picture. But uh, it again grew two points. Uh, actually, and this one actually started, it kept on growing more. Um, not as much as the leader that kept on going, but it grew a lot more than this other one down here. And then I've also pruned it again a couple weeks ago at the very top. Um, hasn't grown any um, branches at all yet, but uh, I'm just from experience, at least with this avocado tree, I think I need to prune it a lot more to get it to branch out a lot more and become a little bit more bushier, which is kind of what I want. So um, over the next few months and as we're going into summer, I'm probably going to do that a little bit more to make it more bushier and to get it um, more looking like a tree, not just a little twig going straight up. Now you may have noticed that uh, I don't have any stake or anything supporting it. So I personally don't like that, especially because it's a tree. Um, it's indoors, it's not like it's being subject to a lot of wind or anything. So I don't have a support stake for it because I want it to kind of grow and strengthen on its own. Um, now if it gets too heavy and starts and topples over, then I'll just prune it. Or if it breaks off, that's fine as long as it doesn't kill the tree, which I mean, unless it breaks off at the bottom, it's not gonna really kill it, I don't think. I mean, it'll just kind of grow back. But um, I want it to grow on its own and kind of strengthen itself. Again, if it gets too top heavy, then I'll prune it back. But uh, I mean, it's doing just fine right now. 
hasn't had any problems with being too heavy up top really. So I think it's been doing really good. So that's it for today's video. I hope that answers some of your questions you guys may have had uh, with uh, in regards to growing an avocado tree indoors. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, let's, we can get a good discussion going on how to grow these trees indoors. Um, it's really easy. I mean, this thing survived the winter. We're here in Montana. We had bitter cold winter where about a week we were below zero for a good while. So, I mean, this thing's doing just fine, getting enough light up here in Montana. And so I think if you can grow it here in Montana, you can kind of grow it anywhere, at least below us <laughs> for sure. Uh, regardless of cold. So if you have any questions about growing avocados indoors, put them in the comments below and we'll, uh, I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment below your questions and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos. We'll see you guys next time.